Okay, so now that we have the podcast page done, let's go ahead and move on to the podcast show page. So let's go back to Sublime, and I'm going to create a new file, save this as a podcast sh underscore show .html. Now Let's move that over here. And close out the home and the everything but the podcast.scss. So back in the podcast.html, uh, let's go ahead and copy everything from the closing header up, paste that in. Uh, then let's add a closing body and HTML tag. So if we go back and refresh, go back to uh, podcast show. Whoops, uh, podcast show, not plural. There we go. So the heading is now showing up. Let me zoom in a bit. Okay, so this is going to be different from the podcast page. So let's add a new div uh, with an ID of podcast uh, show to wrap everything in. Now, if we go back to uh, the Photoshop file and reference that, we have a banner that is uh, the dark gray color. And then the title, description, and the iTunes, uh, Stitcher, Podbay links. So let's first create the banner. If we go back to Sublime, let's do an ID of uh, show banner because this is going to be different than the banners on the podca podcast page, for example. And then I'll do an H1 side of here and say the rocket ship podcast. Then let's go back to Sublime and copy this uh, description. Let's put that in a P tag with the class of description to style it. And then let's add a few links, um, A, and then we'll stub it out. And then this is going to have a class of subscribe link. And then I'll say iTunes, copy this. Let's do another one for uh, Stitcher and another one for Podbay. Now if I go back and refresh, all right, that content is showing up. So let's go and inside of the podcast.scss down at the bottom, let's do an ID of podcast show. Then we'll do a show banner. So I'm gonna do a background, a background of dark. Then let's do a text align center. Let's do a padding 5 RAM 0. Let's go back and see how that looks. Cool, it's looking good. Um, one thing, let's put a wrapper inside of the podcast show. Uh, that way the background can be full width uh, and have the color go all the way to each edge. Um, but the content will be will stay within the wrapper. Let's do wrapper skinny. And we'll copy all these all this content and then tab it over. Perfect. So now let's go back to the bottom. Um, inside the show banner, let's do a title or let's grab the title, the H1, and we will do a font size. Let's try 2.5 rem. Font weight, let's do 300. Uh, let's change the color to white and let's add a margin zero on the top. Um, pretty much zero everywhere but the bottom where we'll put a 0.5 rem margin. Cool, that looks good. Now let's style the description. So get out of the H1, let's do dot description. I want this to be in, uh, shrunken in a bit. So what I'm going to do is width of 60%. Now if I go back and refresh, you can see that it's uh, not in the middle anymore. So what we need to do to fix that is do a margin 0 auto to ramp auto. So auto will automatically determine how much space should be on either side. Um, and then the to rem is pushing down the iTunes links. And looking at it, let's make it a bit wider, uh, try 65%. That's much better. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of, uh, I'm going to lighten the 
dark color, let's say 50%. Let's try that. That's far too much. Let's try 35. Still too much, 15. Ah, that's too little. Let's try 20%. Perfect. Okay, and it still feels a bit tight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bump it up to 75%. And I'm also going to change the line height to 1.75. There we go, so now it can breathe a bit more. So let's go back to the design. Now we have these iTunes links, so let's uh, do those. So each one has a class of subscribe link, so I'm gonna copy that, get out of the description, and then let's style the describe link. Uh, these are gonna be pretty small, so I'll do font size of 0.6 rem, uh, text transform, uppercase, whoops, uppercase. Now if I go back, refresh, it's looking good. Let's uh, make it a bold font, so font weight weight of 700. Let's do text align center. Let's make the color white. Um, display inline. Display inline so they're all next to each other instead of stacked. Let's do a background of the highlight color. And let's do a border radius of 2 rem, uh, just to make sure it's enough to get that half circle. And then let's do padding of 0.5 rem on top and bottom and 1 rem on either side. And then let's add some spacing between them by doing margin 0 on top and bottom and 0.5 rem on either side. So we go back and refresh. So we still have the text underlined, so let's get rid of that by doing uh, text decoration, none. Cool. So when we hover over it, let's uh, change or add a hover state. So we'll do and colon hover. Let's change the background to, let's darken the highlight color, let's say 10%. Perfect. All right, so now if we go back to the design, we next have the breadcrumbs. So let's uh, add that to the HTML and then style it. So back in the HTML, inside the podcast show, but outside of the banner, let's do an ID of breadcrumb. Then let's add a link, and we'll sub it out for now. And then inside of here, let's say uh, the rocket ship. So now the rocket ship podcast shows up. Let's uh, go ahead and style that. So out of the uh, show banner, let's uh, add a div for the breadcrumb, ID of breadcrumb. Let's uh, do a padding of one RAM, zero, uh, text align center. Go back and refresh. That's looking good already. So let's add a border bottom of one pixel solid. And I'm going to do, um, Instead of darken, I'm gonna do lighten. The dark color, I'm gonna say 75%. That looks good. So um, the border bottom is, is there, but it's uh, very subtle. So next, let's uh, change the font weight to 700 to make it bold. Font size, make it pretty small at seven. 0.7 rem, uh, text decoration, none, to get rid of the underline. Let's do color, lighten. Let's do lighten, and then the dark variable by 45%, maybe. Let's go back and see how that looks. Oh, you know what? The reason that's not changing is because I need to add that in a A class. So if I go back and refresh, there we go. And the uh, text decoration none needs to be in the A as well. Perfect. 
So, um, but we are not just only going to have uh, the Rocket Ship podcast. It needs to say um, all podcasts as well to give a link back to it. So let's go to here, and I'm going to say all all podcasts, except I want a, a span. Let's do a span tag. And inside the span, I'm going to put a forward slash. And the reason I'm doing that is because when I go back to the breadcrumb, I can add a span class and do a margin of zero on top and bottom and 0.5 rem on either side. Then go back, refresh. That adds a bit of spacing between the, the forward slash. Great. So next, let's uh, take care of the podcast episodes. If we go back to uh, Photoshop, you can see we have the image on the left, the title, the description, and then a border bottom for each podcast episode. All right, so let's go back to the HTML. Inside of the podcast show, uh, let's add a div of ID episodes. Uh, we want this to be in a wrapper skinny div. Uh, each one's going to be, this is going to basically just be a list of them. So we'll do UL, UL with a class of clear fix. And then inside of that, li with dot clear fix. Then inside the li, we will do a episode thumbnail div. And then we will link to, well, we'll stub it out for now, but we're going to link to the actual episode. Then we'll add an image tag. We'll do images slash, uh, let me find what that was. Here we go. One of them was uh, Peter levels dot png not sure if you that's how you say it peter all right so that image is showing up now uh let's get out of the episode thumbnail div and create a new div of dot podcast episode overview And let's do an h2, and then let's link to a href equals, we'll stub it out. And then I'll just uh, copy one of the titles from the pod, or Rocket Ship podcast in here, and then we'll close a tag. Then under that, we'll do the, we'll do p.description, and then I'll paste this in. Uh, this is the description from the Rocket Ship podcast. Go back and refresh. All right, so that is showing up now. Let's go ahead and start styling that. So we'll do ID of episodes. Let's do a padding of three RAM zero. And then let's grab the UL, make a list style of none, padding left zero. Save that, go back and refresh. So next let's uh, take care of the episode uh, thumbnail. So inside the li, let's do dot episode thumbnail. Let's make it have a width of 25% and float it to the left. Go back and refresh. So it's floating to the left, but we need to target the image inside of that div. So how we'll do that is image, and we'll do a width of 10 rem say max width of 100%. And let's add a border radius as well of the 0.35 rem. Much better. All right, so let's title or style the title and description by doing the uh, H2. Oops. Um, let's get out of the episode thumbnail and do dot episode overview and let's make the overview content be a width of 73.5 percent uh, float left as well and then a margin left 1.5 percent and if you add up this and this and the width of the episode thumbnail that all equals 100 percent of the container div so let's style the title so h2 
let's uh, target the A inside of it and do color dark text decoration none. Looks great. Okay, now let's fix the uh, or style the description. So under here we'll do dot description. Let's change the color. Let's lighten it a bit. Select the dark and let's do 15%. See how that looks. Maybe try 25%. Make it a bit lighter. That's better. The spacing right here seems a bit much um, when we look at our Photoshop mockup. So I'm going to change this, change the content. Let's make it 75% over here. Actually, let's add 3% over here. So 76.5 and remove 3% from the episode thumbnail. So 22%. Refresh. There we go. That looks a bit better. Now let's go back to the podcast show page and let's copy the li, go down and let's paste it a few times. Save and refresh. All right, so we don't want this to be pushing right up against each other. So what I'm gonna do is go under the li. Um, we only want the spacing on the bottom of each one. So, so if we go back to Photoshop, we have a border on each side. So how we're going to do this is add a padding on the bottom, then the border, and then the margin. So if we go back and we do padding bottom, two rem, border bottom, one pixel solid, and we will do that lighten color right here. Let's just copy that whole thing and paste it right there. And then I'll do a margin bottom of the same two rem. Go back and refresh. Now you can see each one is spaced as it should be. This looks good. So let's get rid of the last border at the bottom. Uh, let's go to the LI and beneath the margin bottom, we'll do and last uh, child. We'll do border bottom none. Go back and refresh. All right, and now the last child of the LI does not have that border bottom. Perfect. So one thing that's bugging me is this seems a little wide. Um, I wanna change this, so uh, this is inside the wrapper skinny div. So let's go to the application.scss, change the wrapper skinny, let's try 50% instead of 60. That looks much better. But now, uh, as you can see, this changed. So let's uh, tweak that back. So let's go up to the, and let's try making it 85% uh, instead. There we go, that looks a lot better. Awesome. All right, the last thing we need to do is make sure this page has pagination. So what I'm gonna do is go to the podcast.html and I'm just gonna copy this pod, or pagination div and go down here beneath the podcast show closing div. Let's paste that in. Beautiful. So now at the bottom, we have the pagination, just like on the podcast page. So we have the banner all styled, the breadcrumbs, each of the episodes is looping through, and then we have the pagination here. Great. So in the next video, we will code the episode page.